good morning or good evening depending on the time you're watching this uh, so this is a video just for you which is super cool um, because I can also talk about some of the magical stuff with oils and um, I don't get to talk about that as much normally I'll sometimes talk around Halloween but it's something that I enjoy doing more so anyways um, Basically, some of this you might already know. Uh, essential oils, what are they? They are the lifeblood of the plant. So they're in every plant and they're what helps the plant to grow, to stay strong, um, to heal and move nutrients throughout the plants as well. And essential oils are very compatible with the human body and also with pets. So our bodies love working with essential oils. And as you know, Humans have been using oils for thousands of years, actually plants for healing and as well as oils for a really long time. They've been using plants for, for healing and for magical purposes, energetic purposes. So it's not really a new thing, but science is like rediscovering or more deeply discovering a lot of things about essential oils here since, oh, the last 50 years or so. And... I think they're also getting more popular because people like to feel empowered about getting back into home remedies and that kind of thing, which plants and essential oils are awesome for. <clears throat> so uh, I've been drawn to more natural types of stuff, healing things for quite a while. Even when I worked in the fish store, I found out that if I soaked the fish food in garlic um, and then fed it to the sick fish, it would help them get better. And I thought that was really awesome because I was one of the people who medicated the fish and I was always dumping chemicals in the tanks and like I just felt yucky about that. So um, I've been really happy when I have essential oils in my house and can use them for things instead of like chemical yuck <clears throat> that I would otherwise be using. Um, I found out that lavender actually opens the third eye and um, I had been like, wow, my third eye feels so sensitive here lately. Why is that? And realized I'd been dousing myself with lavender like all day. <clears throat> Basically, it helps my anxiety. So that's why I was doing it. But I was like, oh, no wonder. So the molecule for an essential oil is actually smaller than a virus. And it penetrates the skin faster than any modern medicine known to man. So it can absorb super fast. And what that means is that if you're new to using essential oils or super concentrated oils, um, you may want to dilute with a carrier oil because that's going to slow the absorption into your skin and help. You know, sometimes if you get a little bit of redness, <clears throat> that could be the reason why, just because it's absorbing really fast. And I use oils with Orchid um, all the time since I was pregnant uh, and since she was a baby. We use oils for everything and with kids, you just want to dilute them because uh, the kid's skin is more sensitive so it can absorb things more easily, more quickly. Um, and then also putting on the bottoms of kids' feet is really a good place to apply oils because um, that's where their skin is tougher. So there's some controversy about ingesting essential oils and you've probably seen where it says do not ingest on the bottle. Um, and also, you know, even I've heard controversy of using oils with pets and kids. <clears throat> so the reason why is that 98% of the oils on the market are actually diluted. They're, they're just not pure. Um, there's no regulation for essential oils. So like any person can bottle something and as long as there's 5% oil, they can label it as pure. So there's some different grades of oils we go through. Um, grade A is pure, organic, top quality, um, not diluted at all. Grade B is still has like pesticides in it. It's considered food grade, but um, you know, it has pesticides. Like if you're using pesticides to grow produce, my uh, screen keeps falling. I don't have my stand right now. So anyway, <clears throat> when the oils, right, they're just basically super concentrated plants. So if those plants are treated with pesticides, then that's going to become concentrated into the bottle as well. Um, 
And then you have grade C, which is like kind of a perfume grade. They typically use hexane, a known carcinogen, as a solvent to pull more essential oils out of the plant um, to get more bang for their buck. And grade D is actually just um, floral water, which is like the byproduct of distillation. And it's not even really the same thing. So I use Young Living because they own and manage all of their own farms. So they actually test each seed. They grow their own plants to make the oils with. And in every bottle, it's just like whatever, like peppermint, that's all it's in there. Lavender, that's it. Lemon, um, it's 25 lemon rinds to make the five milliliter bottle of lemon. So what's good about that is it's super strong. It's very concentrated. So you need to use less of it. Um, I'm not going to go through all these 12 oils, but whenever I got started, I got this kit for 165 with 12 oils in it and a diffuser. So I know that you use oils. So that comes to like $8 a bottle basically. So, um, for me, like that's a really good price compared to what I've seen in the store, especially knowing like how super concentrated these are. They actually gave themselves higher standards than the organic label. So things that are labeled as organic, um, Young Living place standards on themselves higher than that. So their farms, they make sure that the land was not previously farmed with pesticides uh, with, from someone else growing stuff. They actually, if someone's in a bad mood at the farm, you can go visit their farms and tour them. Uh, they will send the people home if they're like coming to work in a bad mood because they don't want those bad vibes around the plants. And for making essential oils, it gets really specific. So like you want to harvest the plant when it's going to give you the highest number of organic compounds. And these organic compounds are what enact change in the human body, which is what we want, right? That's why we're using them. So, um, for example, <clears throat> if you take cypress, um, typically it's going to be distilled and this is just like, uh, approximately 250 degrees. Um, and uh, actually back that up, it's distilled and you get approximately 250 um, organic compounds out of the cypress. But if you change the distillation temperature by just 10 degrees, you only get 11 compounds. So 11, 250, that's a huge difference. These compounds that are in the oil are what enacts change in our body. Um, so that's what we want. So Young Living is also the only company that they have... Um, their oils are safe to ingest. The FDA actually has cleared their oils for safe for ingestion. And that's also the reason that's controversial. When you look at oils that um, they say do not ingest on the side, that's because they've put fillers in them or the concentrated um, pesticides from harvesting or, you know, whatever solvents they use to pull out the oils. So they're telling you don't ingest that. But if you're putting it on your skin, we're absorbing that anyway, right? So like what we put on our skin, um, it reaches every cell in our body within 20 minutes. So with essential oils, that's a really good thing. So if you're applying it topically, you're going to get the benefits of that very quickly, um, even reaching the heart, liver, and thyroid within three seconds. So, oh, let's close that. I want to put it on. Well, you can smell it. Yeah, it comes out really but, fast. But I want to put it on my tummy. Okay, you're going to put it on your tummy? All right, well, it comes out really fast. So um, let's, let's put it just on your arm. Um, so as far as ingesting oils, um, I really like adding them. Like, for example, I'll put a drop of lemon in with a smashed up avocado, um, put it in my salads, put it in my drinks. Like there's a whole other class that I do on cooking with essential oils. Um, I really love frankincense because it's very protective and grounding and that's another one that I use, um, you know, like a magical oil I would consider just because it's very protective and grounding. It's like actually um, referenced throughout history in the Bible, which although I'm not like 100% uh, into the Bible, I do think it does have some accurate as historical reference when they talk about using frankincense and stuff back in the day um you know it was like a highly prized uh commodity so um so yeah so this is just an overview of essential oils um what they are and like also 
Some of the things they can be used for. This kit that I started with, um, with the 12 oils, literally you can, it's like you replace, it's like a first aid kit of plants, of badass concentrated plants in your house. Um, you know, you can use them for everything. Headaches, nausea. Uh, I started using them like after I would, I was trying other oils and I would have varied results. Um, hey, we talked about this. You need to stop. I know, but I'm almost done. So, uh, this is not your video. You're, you're not the teacher today. Okay. Um, so anyhow, um, lose my train of thought. That's, <clears throat> that's basically, basically it. Um, one more thing I want to say about Young Living is that they, one of their mission statements is to be a steward for the planet. So their business practices are like super eco-conscious and you know me, I'm very passionate about that kind of a thing. And I really, um, feel good about like supporting them and, uh, getting my stuff through them. Like, I mean, yeah, they have oils, but also like toothpaste, cleaners, makeup, they have all kinds of stuff. Um, but they're really good quality and they take care of the planet. Like that's one of their like mission jobs things. So, um, if you want to get started with this, let me know. And I'd love to know your thoughts. I'm, I'm building a little wellness community. I shouldn't say little, um, it's been, um, a lot busier here lately. I, I think people are, you need to wait. Okay, please. You can, yeah, that's super juice, but we drank it. Um, with everything that's going on right now with the pandemic and stuff, people I think are getting more into, that's empty, uh, like home remedies. You probably like know that, like, um, experience that and stuff. But, um, anyway, I think it would be very awesome if you joined my community and I would love to have you on my young living team. Uh, it's a lot of fun and even just people just learning and loving on each other, like trying to help each other learn about wellness and um, being empowered to take that into your own hands. And like, we're in charge of what comes through the door for our families. You know, that's up to us. So if we can choose something that's going to really help us help our families, um, you know, quality matters. And I feel like uh, that's a really beautiful thing. So thank you for your time. Heart hands. I'm teaching Orchid how to do that. Here, do the heart hands. <laughs> Can't see her. I have this propped up, and this is like my backdrop that I pull out to hide the mess behind me when I'm doing a video. Anyways, um, I hope that you're having a good day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.